Well, hello. This is you, Abigail, and I would like to welcome you to our third episode of our Ferret Business franchise. Take a look at that view. We've cleared out quite a large area here of uh, trees and underbrush, and uh, our our gardens are spreading around a little bit, so therefore we should be able to get most of the additional, uh, like, vegetables, fruits, and grasses and stuff that we need for our farms. Uh, as you can see in here, I've been busy uh, grinding and smelting most of our ores. Still got some going in here. Uh, in fact, we got, what, tritanium. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and put that away and we'll start up the next group. Uh, we'll go ahead and grind up this osmium. Get that started. Uh, anyway, yeah, uh, I went ahead and expanded down here as well uh, our farm area. And as you can see, I found a gourd garden and got some pumpkins and such. And I've, I'm, I'm pretty sure I got most of the seeds that we're going to need. And we'll have plenty of cotton for string and wool and such. Uh, but anyway, that's not why I just wanted to show you. Oh, also, I, f I found this bed, actually. I was going to show you this. Uh, I actually raided that and kind of stole it from a house on top of one of those roguelike dungeons and once we get out here I can show you where there we go uh, I, I took a boat down this river and right down in this area here towards the center of the screen is where right right in right in here is where that house is also I found what appears to be some kind of a crashed spacecraft thing uh, using, well, I'm not even sure what blocks it's using, but uh, yeah, we're going to raid that thing as well at some point, but uh, we're going to leave that for a later episode. Today, we have a uh, uh, other job that we need to do. We need to get us a Tinker Smeltery up and running, so this way we can start making some better tools. So, yeah, I, I went ahead and gathered up some uh, uh, sand and some clay and such. I don't have enough to do a very large one, but uh, we can get some of it going now. So, uh, oh, that's right. We need clay as well. Duh. All right. Anyway, we'll go ahead and get this going, and we'll go ahead and, uh, yeah, well, we'll have to wait for this. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wait on this, and we'll start smelting these, uh, this grout that I'm about to make up. And there we go. And there we go. Oh, also, as you can tell, uh, let me go ahead and uh, switch my view here real quick. Yeah, we now have a customized tail and ears. So therefore, uh, I believe one of our quests, in fact, in our quest book, had something to do with that. And yes, I did die once. Uh, some kind of uh, android kind of thing shot me and killed me. Uh, and Oh, and that... I wound up getting his head, but where did it go? There it is, right there. So we'll be able to complete that other quest as well. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's see if we got this quest done. Oh, oh, that's our, that's right. We also have uh, enough rotten flesh now to complete that quest as well. So we'll go ahead and do this one here. Might have a zombie head? No, I do not. All right. And we can get this one here. We may do that one later today. And this one here, dilithium. We'll just have to, uh, if I'm correct, that's what we just, no, that was tritanium. So, yeah, we'll have to get some dilithium, and uh, we'll be able to do that one. Stone, iron, gold, and actually we can do this one here as well because I have got stone right there and we've got iron oops and redstone and did it say gold yes excellent but I know there was one dealing with the customizing of the tail ah found it. Says this one's been completed. Hmm. Oh well, anyway. Uh, yeah. 
So uh, we'll see how far along we are on this. Go ahead and put this stuff away. We're going to wind up needing some more gold. But, uh, yeah. Alrighty, well we've got some of our seared bricks going, so let's go ahead and build some of our components that we're going to need. I know we're going to need the seared tank. This would be the controller. And we're going to need a drain. And we'll need a faucet. And we'll need the casting table. We might as well make a casting basin as well. And we'll need to make one more smeltery drain. So this way we can... Uh, oh, and then we'll need one more faucet as well because of that. Alright, so now we just got to wait on the bricks themselves and we can begin building this uh, smeltery. Now I do not want to build it in there anywhere. I want to build it out here somewhere because uh, what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to make it like a separate operation than because what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to convert this into like a, a factory of some kind uh, and we'll deal with that uh, as we go. Uh, it's going to be a little little bit of a large project long term because we got to clear out all the trees and uh, we'll have to do some terraforming in order to to make it look right but uh, the general idea will be that uh, we'll pick one of these elevation levels here to be the main level like uh, and then uh, we'll use like a staircase to go up into this area here and then we will actually enter the the, the heart of the factory right here uh, and then all of this out here is going to be functional uh, buildings and stuff like that that are going to be uh, part of the entire factory complex. But the smeltery we want to have separate, and we'll probably have it uh, encased in some kind of a, a fencing or you know have some kind of a structure around it. So yeah, uh, and I was actually thinking that I would like to have it over here somewhere like in this area over here looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and turn that off real quick. I haven't lit up all this area yet. Somewhere somewhere over in here, like there, this is a rather large flat area. We could actually use this uh, and have this be where the smeltery is. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and throw a torch down here just so that we know and we will go back and see if our bricks are starting to get ready and I'll be back with you in a minute. Alrighty, well we are back and we are ready to start building. So uh, we got to decide uh, the size on this thing, and I was thinking of actually doing a four by four since I have the two smeltery drains. Uh, this way, I can have it all be on one face. So uh, if we're going to measure this out as a four by four, let's go ahead and we'll start the construction right there. And we'll go ahead and lay the foundation down. And I brought with me some uh, diorite. I want to make some diorite bricks. And I also brought some uh, colored cobblestone. I went ahead and made the paintbrush and uh, pestle and mortar, although I wound up not using that. And uh, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to line the underside, at least for now, with the diorite bricks because this is where our control panel basically is going to be. This is where our smeltery drain and all the, the controller and everything like that is going to be located. So we'll go ahead and throw the seared tank down and the controller and our drains if we don't lag. So we've got the drains here and there and we'll go ahead and throw our faucets on. and we will put our casting table on this side and our casting basin on this side alright so that's and we'll get rid of this this don't need to be there uh, anyway yeah we'll go ahead and uh, line this side as well just because and might as well do the back side and just to make it easier to build the first set of walls
and there we have a functional smeltery. All we need now is just some lava and then something to smelt in it. Now I brought these uh, colored cobblestone because I don't want grass down below here. And I was thinking that, uh, let me grab out my shovel. I was thinking that this might look good underneath. And apparently you can put that in there. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's not what I intended to do. So we'll go ahead and... Uh, I'll go ahead and line this all out real quick. There we go. Just enough. All right. So, yeah, we don't need these here either. Uh, anyway, that's the, the beginnings of this uh, structure. Uh, what I probably will wind up doing is creating a full face running along here and on the other side and then building some kind of like an arch structure over the thing. I haven't really decided yet, but uh, as we go, we will go ahead and expand on what we're doing here. But for now, we're going to go ahead just for uh, OCD's sake, we're going to go ahead and put torches all the way around it here. And we will also place torches up top just to prevent spawn. And I do believe we are ready to get us some lava. And actually, yes, we do need we need to make some aluminum brass because I do not have enough gold to make. Well, I'm, I may have some ground uh, pulverized gold. Let me double check, but I do not think I do. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we need to make some uh, cast molds because my intent is to make an uh, alumite hammer as soon as possible. So, do we have pulverized gold? No, we do not. All right, so we'll have to make some aluminum brass. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to make a tank real quick, and for that I'll need, I've got the glass on me. Yes, so, uh, if I remember right, it was one tin and four glass. Let's go ahead and smelt up some tin if we don't have any. Yes, yeah, so we'll go ahead and smelt up some tin real quick. Nope. Double check that. Might be copper. And basic fluid tank from mechanism. Portable tank. That's what I was looking for right there. And it is copper. Okay, my bad. Well, we'll have the tin available for making machine chassis and stu and such for uh, industrial craft provided that's in this mod pack. So we'll go ahead and make us a portable tank. and we will grab our bucket and we'll head down and see if we can find us some lava. I do, if I remember right there was some lava down here so uh, we'll need to grab that real quick and then we'll head back up. Alrighty and we are back. Found the lava down below and we're gonna go ahead and fill this uh, seared tank completely full and for in here I know we're gonna want to smelt up probably so we've got 16, so we'll go 3 and 9. That should be enough to make the aluminum brass. Or I just made a mistake, one or the other. And we're about to find out. Excellent. Aluminum brass, I did have it right. So, we're going to need to make us an ingot mold, just so that we'll have one. So we'll go ahead and throw that on there. and we got that now. Alright, so next thing we're going to need is we're going to need our parts for our hammer and excavator and that kind of stuff. So we'll go ahead and grab that. So we'll need the hammer head, large plate, tough binding, tough rod excavator head. And I do not see the axe head. Oh, and I had one over here. Alright, well anyway, now yeah, we got the broad axe now. And we'll go ahead and make the casting molds for those. Now I'll still need to make some more seared bricks uh, because I cannot make the actual tool station until I do that. So I'll have to go out and uh, 
uh, dig up some more sand. That's what's holding me back mainly. But that's not that big of a problem. There's a bunch of sand along that uh, river bank over there. So let's go ahead and clear up some room here real quick and start throwing these in here. And that should be all the parts that we're going to need. And of course, we'll cast some other stuff later just to use up this aluminum brass that's in here. We got what, six more? But uh, we'll do that later. For now, I'm going to put these back in a safe spot. And then I'll go out and grab that sand real quick because we need that tool station before we can actually make the alumite hammer. Well, don't I feel foolish? Uh, it turns out I had uh, 12 seared bricks on me. Oh well, anyway, I did go ahead and grab some more sand so this way we can go ahead and make it a second layer on that thing. So yeah, we're, I'll go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. And there we have it, our tool forge. And I still need to make a stone large plate. I totally f forgot to do that while we were out there earlier. So let's head over there and hopefully we don't get blown up on the way. Now we got a skeleton nearby. throw that on there. I see you over there. You stay over there. Alright, anyway. Yeah, now we've got this. So we can actually begin to make some better tools. Now the reason I'm wanting to make this uh, out of alumite is it's got decent durability and a decent uh, starting mining level and it's worth uh, putting a flux capacitor or, or, or not a flux capacitor but a uh, leadstone energy cell on it so this way you get 400,000 uh, redstone flux and you can mine out a very large area without having to worry about repairing it or anything you just keep recharging it as you go so yeah that's what we're going to do but uh, first we're going to need some obsidian and for that uh, we're going to go back down where I got that lava from and we're going to mine up a bunch of that this bucket here real quick and I'm pretty sure I've got a diamond pick. Yes, I do. Excellent. So we'll go ahead down there and uh, grab that. And right here. This is the location where I found the lava. And you can see where I took it out for the, uh, for the forge. But uh, we're going to go ahead and convert this to obsidian because there's going to be more lava around, obviously. So, yeah. We'll go ahead and do that now. And I think we'll just go ahead and drop it down here for just a second. And, okay, good. Excellent. So, now we've got a, a, a base to work from. And, good, there's more over there. Perfect. We'll go ahead and throw a torch down so we don't get any spawns down here while we're working or whenever we leave for any reason and come back. So, we'll go ahead and throw our first bit of water right here just in case we need it and we'll start mining this out and this is going to take a while so I'll have to to cut to where I've got this done so I'll be back with you in a bit alrighty well I got us uh, 20 obsidian which would be enough to do uh, another portal using half of it and then uh, it should be enough to make the uh, alumite for the other half so uh, yeah we'll get we'll go up and we'll get the the iron and the aluminum and we'll head up there and see if we can get this made alrighty well we've built our second layer onto our smeltery and we're getting ready to smelt down this aluminum this is the ratio should be five aluminum <coughs> pardon me to two obsidian to two iron and I do not remember if each obsidian uh, itself melts down into one or two ingots worth so we may wind up with some extra molten obsidian when it's all said and done but we'll see but this will make the alumite or alumite or however you want to pronounce it and we will go ahead and grab our parts I know we're gonna need it was what uh, two plates the hammerhead and the tool rod or tough rod pattern or, or mold. So uh, hammerhead and the tough rod and two large plates. And we wound up with 15. And 
10 obsidian. So yeah, we would need to make more because that's not enough to make this. All right, so I'll have to go back and get the rest of that aluminum and 10 more iron. I think it's like 23 ingots to make the... Or might be 27 ingots because uh, I think it's 8 per plate, 8 for the head, and like 3 maybe for the tough rod. But anyway, let's let's get this smelted up and see what we wind up with. 3, 8, and 8. Yeah, so it's uh, 27 total that we'll need, and we've got 15. We're not going to have enough. Yeah, we're short by 4 ingots. So, back to the mines we go. Hey, there's our dilithium. I completely forgot we needed that. So that will complete that quest for us. Do I have my shovel still on me? No, I do not. We'll go ahead and get the rest of this while we're at it. Uh, yeah. I do not know what we have just encountered here. Other than the skeletons. And whatever that is. Let's see if we can't take a little peek. Sounds uh, robotic, whatever it is. And it has a gun of some kind. Yeah. It's a hard hit or whatever it is. Let's heal up a bit. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a potion of invisibility right now. And there's another one? Really? Yeah, no. We are not staying there. So yeah, I gave up on digging around for uh, coal. So instead I did an overland search and I found some uh, aluminum gravel ore. And there we go. We have 30 molten alumite. So now we can go get our uh, casting molds and we can make our first uh, tool, professional tool that is. Yeah, I had to, I had to walk all over the place. I, let me go ahead and zoom this out. I went all the way back up into this area back here and I found some additional biomes. But uh, yeah, I found some uh, gravel ore finally, some light aluminum gravel ore. So we can get this made. And if I remember right, I put them over here. And the tool station itself, the tool forge. And I'm thinking we might want to just go ahead and put the tool forge right there as well. Just to have it in the same location. Uh, we may move it at some point, but for now, we'll just leave it right here underneath the controller. So put that down there. And... We can start pouring our pieces. And here we go. Throw that there. Those. And that. And there we go. We now have 8,000 durability. Go ahead and grab our casting mold back. Now we need to see about making us a capacitor bank and a leadstone energy cell. We're making the basic capacitor bank. We're going to need four basic capacitors. And those are copper and four times that. I may not have enough gold. No, I do not. All right, well, looks like that's something we'll have to take care of in the next episode. Until then, I hope you enjoyed. This is you, Abigail, saying have a great day.